I'll tell you what. You give me $50,000, and we'll be gone. We're so happy that we decided to go virtual this year. That allows so many people around Canada and around the world to get access to this festival. This isn't exactly how you'd usually enjoy a film fest, but that's exactly how people are enjoying 120 films screening at the Montreal International Black Film Festival this year, which has gone totally virtual amid the pandemic. And even though the idea of watching on your laptop might not sound super appealing, festival organizers say it's actually allowed them to access and educate an even wider audience. This year, due to the resurgence of the Black Lives Matter movement, um, there's more awareness and, um, and um, we feel more um, eyes are turned to the festival. Organizers say reaching the community outside of Montreal is opening up even more opportunities to raise awareness around police brutality and showcase black voices and stories. We have to go to the police. You'll go to jail. One film screening is Landre Olabisi's A Storybook Ending, a story about a black man who accidentally kills a white cop in self-defense. While it is topical, I often say it was topical like 20 years ago too. It was topical 40 years ago. But one of the things that I do try to do is show people of color in ways that we haven't seen them in film, right? So that's something that's a constant theme throughout my work. The festival runs until October 4th, offering all-access passes on their website. Organizers are also hosting free virtual panels showcasing the artists behind the camera. That's what Black creators are lacking. It's that platform. It's the voice. It's the opportunity. They don't lack talent. They just lack opportunities. And then we uh, want to put them in the spotlight and then foster opportunities for them. In Montreal, Sharon Union reynolds City News.